Hello YouTube, thanks for tuning in to Spankle Vision, and we are back with another episode of Spank Around the USA, and today I'm going to show my appreciation to all my Texas viewers out there. Uh, you guys have actually became the number two viewer, viewing state of my channel. Uh, New York was number two, but you guys passed them, so congrats to you Texas. And uh, to show my appreciation for all you guys watching, I made a little Texas themed here, uh, themed world for you. Well, actually. Uh, me and my friends made it. Uh, the crew actually came through on this one quite a bit. But uh, we made a uh, Texas state flag for you guys, obviously. That was a pretty easy flag compared to some of the other ones. And if you don't know what the Spanker on the USA uh, series is, is I'm just going and checking my stats on my YouTube channel, what states are viewing. My videos in Texas has moved into number two, so I'm just going from the most viewed down, and uh, I think we're at number three now. And Texas, congrats. Like I said, you're number, the number two viewing now. So we, uh, we made a bunch of Texas stuff, like I said. Um, we made, our fantastic poet made this awesome uh, Texas A&M logo. Um, I guess you guys' two biggest teams are the A&M and Longhorns. We just decided to do Texas A&M. Poet did that. Thought that turned out pretty nice. We had to get some kind of sports and we'll down there we we're gonna do the Cowboys but we decided like I said we'd, we'd go with the A&M here thought it turned out pretty nice and Comedian23 made these huge cowboy boots here it's a, at the North Star Mall in San Antonio Texas um, I guess when you drive in the front uh, of the mall these are these two huge cowboy boots that look like this we were just looking up Texas landmarks and that was one of the things we thought that'd be cool. I mean, plus, I mean, they're cowboy boots, so that definitely goes right along with Texas. It turned out great once again. And really, like I said, the crew really came through. I only ended up making one structure here, and the, it just kind of happened real fast. We came in one day and just got pretty much all of it done. Um, the poet made these, or this awesome little. Texas don't mess with Texas logo and just we use the Texas colors there to make a little state picture of it You know, that's obviously you guys one of you guys state logos don't mess with Texas. And that's pretty cool So we thought we'd give you guys props on that and Poet also made I think this is like the San Antonio Tower or something like that Tower of the Americas there you go in San Antonio no, uh, Evidently that you guys have a I guess it's kind of like the Space Needle type tower or something. And there in San Antonio. So another landmark from there. And here's the structure I made. I made like a 1800s like oil wheel, like the Texas oil fields, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I think they're still pumping oil in Texas. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of oil still coming out of there. I guess these guys hit it rich. I, I just wanted to do like an old school, like there will be blood uh, type oil pump. You got like the wheel here pumping the the pump, cracking it up and down. And just like a little, I guess, foreman's office or operator's office or something, just somewhere to sleep, get out of the sun for the day. I just thought that was really easy too. Like I said, by the time I built that, a lot of the stuff was getting built already, so we just kind of happened real fast. And then we did, here we'll come back to that one. And this is another awesome one. Comedian did uh, Route 66 goes through Texas. It's a famous U.S. highway. Obviously, you probably all heard of it, Route 66. And there's a cool landmark there that in Texas where it's like a bunch of cars like in the ground, like halfway hanging up. And I thought that that was really awesome. It was a good job, Comedian. U.S. 66. I think there's a song about it even. And Mad God 117, if I'm not mistaken, made this. Yep. And he did like a like an Alamo style desert scene. You know, Texas has definitely got some desert stuff. Just a little southwest, maybe southwest of El Paso or something. Just kind of out in the desert. I guess it's a little, let's say a little mission, Spanish mission maybe or something, Alamo style. Should have been a cowboy, I guess, for this video. And he did a little Easter egg, which is cool over here. Uh, it's got a little shovel and some gold nuggets in here. I, mean, I guess somebody's digging up gold out in the desert, or buried some 
Some gold out there in the Texas desert. And then another cool comedian creation here. He did like the Southwest motif, like basically like a longhorn. You know, you've all seen like the skull of a cow and some little flames or whatnot. It's pretty cool. Bull skull. There you go. The comedian. Looks pretty cool. It's like a bad, bad tattoo. <laughs> Alright, and JD Snake came in and did his specialty. He's really good at making these Minecraft people. JD Snake 99. So he came in and made us a cowboy. Uh, I guess he's got like a little whip. It looks kind of like, or it's supposed to be a lasso. It looks like a whip to me. I guess there's bull whips too, so I guess that would make sense. But he just made him a little, a little cowboy. And JD Snake made the, I guess his rendition of like the Texas, I think, what is it, Lone Star or something like that? I guess the bottle looks kind of like that. He did like a little 3D VGM Nick, right? Yeah, VGM Nick 760 Star Beer. Well, I think it's Lone Star Beer. I don't think it's just Star. Because, you know, it's the Lone Star State. So, yeah. I'm sure, I think that's the number one beer in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. And over here, Ultra built this awesome giant 3D rendering of a, like a cowboy an Ultra Billy 09 here. And he's a great builder, and he came in and built this super awesome, just sick southwestern old. It's like an old Colt 45 revolver or something maybe. And this has just turned out great. It's even got the bullets in here. It actually shoots uh, snowballs if you pull the trigger here, but you can't see it because. Don't have anyone to shoot or to see down there. Well, it shoots snowballs all the way out of the trigger up there as a dispenser. Wired it to shoot. It's got an awesome handle, awesome trigger mechanism back here. It looks like the real thing. Really great job, job here, Ultra. Sick. This is sick. We'll take a look at the front here. And you can see a little dispenser in there. I said it does shoot snowballs. I guess that wouldn't hurt you. We just wanted to shoot something for effect. That'd be pretty cool. And over here we did like a, just a giant. We had to get some kind of cattle or something, you know. So I just made the Minecraft, or Flying J and Poet made a Minecraft cow and I threw some horns on it. So it's kind of like a bull, a little Texas Longhorn Minecraft cow. I think Flying J made that, yeah, Texas Longhorn. So there you go. There's the Minecraft style Texas Longhorn. And then, and then him and uh, Fantastic Poet did a little uh, Easter egg inside of here, which I thought was pretty funny. There's a cow in here. Get back. You're staying in here. I guess there's a. You can crawl on his butt and watch TV. And if you come in here, you can, it's like his lungs, I guess, maybe. And heart and his little cow brain. Maybe that's the stomach. <clears throat> so you have some ribs on the wall. Just a cool little Easter egg in here. And we decided to make the final landmark. Here we go. It's the Big Texan Steak Ranch. Um, it's a famous. Texas landmark. Flying J made the building here and we'll go in. We all worked on the inside. It's pretty cool. They have free limo to and from the Big Texan. It's the home of the 72 ounce steak, which is insane. Like that dude, uh, Adam, or I don't know, Alan Rickman or Adam Rickman, whatever, the man versus food guy. He came here and I'm pretty sure he couldn't do it. Um, the Big Texan Steak Ranch, Amarillo, Texas. And yep, free. And they really do give free limo rides. I guess I'm gonna go to bed here real quick. But yeah, this place is, like I said, Alan Rickman, uh, I think that's his name. Like I said, he couldn't do the challenge. And then what it is, you have to eat a 72 ounce steak, um, three jumbo shrimp and a salad, and it all has to be eaten within an hour, like say steak ranch. And I mean, there's a, like a whole list of people that have done it. You can go on the website. They've been tracking people since 1965, like that have done it. And we're gonna go in and check it out. We'll check out the challenge in here. 
And I put this little warning in here. Warning, challenge can lead to heart attack because, you know, <laughs> eating a 72 ounce steak might cause you to have a heart attack. I can only imagine. I mean, you can go online and look at it. Look at the Big Texan 72 ounce steak challenge. Just Google image how big it is. It's crazy. So I made this giant steak in here, like a big platter with a steak on it getting cut up. I got like a knife and fork and some mashed potatoes and gravy over here. Um, See, it says the Big Texan Steak Ranch, you know, home, home of the 72 ounce steak. We decked it all out in here. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, like I said, eat, eating a 72 ounce steak, I mean, it's got to be a challenge. Like I said, if you if you really want to look at it, just Google image it. It's easy. And we just came in this room over here and put a little Texas thing and we put a heart stopper because, you know, it might cause you to have a heart attack. So if you eat it on the steak on the wall, I mean, we just wanted to, we didn't want to make it a restaurant, we just, I wanted to go with the challenge theme here. And that's pretty cool, because that's what they're known for. And they actually have like a wall of fame. So, I took a couple of the people from it. Uh, this guy here, Eli Gattis, or Gattis possibly, I don't know, but he did it three times in 1965, 68, and 72. And he was an ex-NFL player for the New Orleans Saints, and he did it the most. He's the only person to ever do it three times. I'm sure he's dead by now. That was 50 years ago almost. I mean, there's no way that guy's did this challenge three times and lived to be like 80 something. And then this guy here, Frank Pastor, uh, he, this guy did it the fastest. And this is insane because you get an hour to do it and he did it in 9.5 minutes. And this dude weighed 215 pounds. He was 30 and he was from Upland, California. And I think it was like 1987 or something. And that was the fastest time ever nine and a half minutes like the rest of the list the majority of people are you know it takes like 55 to 59 minutes like almost all of them and then there's just like a few exceptions and that's that guy's one of them i mean nine and a half minutes that's insane 72 ounce steak three jumbo shrimp salad that is just ridiculous you know uh, i couldn't do it but uh yeah so that's the the inside of the big texas steakhouse home with a 72 ounce steak challenge so that was it that's uh that's the texas world and uh i do thank you guys for watching and i do hope you enjoy and if you want to see your state get featured and a spank around the usa just keep watching because i'm just doing it simply in order of state viewing it the most so if you get all your friends to keep watching the videos your state might be sooner than later so stay tuned and once again i do thank you guys a lot